This demo covers how to use DAML script on Dabbl for ledger initialization. Before deploying a model to Project Dabbl, it is known best practice to write DAML scenarios that test your business logic. Often, the first few lines of these scenarios have to do with onboarding and other preliminary logic to bootstrap the state of your ledger. When uploading a DAML model to Project Dabbl, a similar process is required to bring your ledger to an initialized state. However, the more complex the demo, the more time consuming this becomes. The process also can be error prone and in the worst case, force someone to have to start over on a blank ledger. Demo script is a development tool with a simple API that runs against an actual ledger to test automation logic, UI, and performs this ledger initialization. Using it with Dabbl achieves automatic and accurate ledger bootstrapping, enabling you to fast forward your ledger to the desired initialized state. The use case I'll use in this demo involves five different parties and relationships between these parties that have to be onboarded to begin the main workflow. The operator invites a signing party who holds the keys to transfer digital tokens outside the bounds of his company. The signing party invites a compliance officer responsible for checking addresses. The compliance officer invites the desk heads. And each desk head invites a set of traders that initiate transfer requests. This nested relationship between parties is a pain to onboard, which is where demo script comes in handy. The simplified workflow is as follows. A trader starts with a transfer request. The desk head provides a transfer limit contract that specifies it a size limit. If the transfer is within the limit, it gets passed to the compliance officer who checks the outbound address. If the address is whitelisted, the transfer is approved and the signing party signs it to be sent out to the relevant network. To get this workflow bootstrapped on Dabbl, we will go through the following steps. One, migrate scenarios to Daml script. Two, configure our DAR. Three, deploy it to project Dabbl. Four, download the script's ledger parties from Dabbl. And five, run the script against our ledger. The simplest way to write demo script is to use pre-existing scenarios and make simple changes to them. Daml docs has a migration guide that explains the specifics of this simple translation. Otherwise, the Daml docs also have a guide to writing Daml script from scratch, which is very similar to writing scenarios. Now let's look at the code. It is worth noting that if we replace the scenario code in our DAML project to DAML script, the hash of our compiled DAR will change. To avoid this, I've created a top level directory that contains our project, and I've created a new project with a single file for our DAML script. This file imports DAML script and role contracts from our initial project. I've copied our scenario code here and turned it into DAML script. As we can see, there is now a record that contains the parties that are inputs arguments to our script function. And create becomes create CMD, exercise becomes exercise CMD. Other than unpacking the parties in the initialized script, we can continue with pretty much the same logic as our DAML scenario. Now for some additional configuration. The daml.yaml file of the script project, we need to add daml script to the list of dependencies here. I've added the path of our original project star to the data dependency field here. Now let's build our DARS. Once we've compiled both DARs, open Project Dabo and create an empty ledger. Upload the original project's DAR to your ledger. 
Next, add the ledger parties that we specified as arguments in our DAML script to our ledger in the live data view. All this is doing is initializing parties, so there will be no contracts yet. Here, it is important to use camel case so that these arguments will compile in DAML. Now we want to pull down these parties and their access tokens to use as inputs to our script and run it against our ledger. DABL produces this JSON file for, for our ledger in the ledger settings tab. Take the participants.json file and add it to your script project. For the final step, we need to create a file named ledgerparties.json. Copy the value of party participants from participants.json into ledger party stuff do so. Unfortunately, the JSON here must be formatted party value. So flip the order of the key and value pair you got from participants.json. Now that we have the inputs for our demo script, we need to run it against our Dabble ledger. This command consists of our participant config being the participants.json file, the JSON API tag, because Dabble uses JSON API, the name of our script dar, the name of our script, and the input file ledgerparties.json. Now let's run this demo script command. Now we go back to Project Dabble, and from the perspective of the operator, we will see the contracts created by the DAML script bootstrap process. For more information on DAML script, visit the DAML docs. For more information on using DAML script with Dabble, visit the DAML docs.